and the dream to explore the swim from the south pole looking for more now they zip across america to check out the scenes and they want to see you travel to the so much to see the ultimate penguin adventure Hello again, travelers, and welcome to another adventure exploring Washington, D.C. And looky, it's Cha Cha and Z taking their morning commute to the National Mall, home to America's most iconic monuments and prestigious museums. Now, what do our flightless friends have in store for us today? Let's find out. Wow, the National Mall is so big. Where are we going, Z? Just a few more steps, Cha Cha. This place won't disappoint. Was that your stomach? You shouldn't explore on an empty tummy. Oh man, I haven't eaten in 10 whole minutes. Anyway, we're here. Ta-da! Z, I know you're hungry, but that's not really a DC attraction. Polly, you're blocking the surprise. Oh, sorry Z, I needed a snack too. That's right, travelers. Today, Cha-Cha and Z are discovering the treasures of the National Museum of Natural History. The most important thing to know is that it's free all year. Opening in 1910, it was one of the first buildings made under the Smithsonian Institution, including many other exciting museums. And best of all, the Natural History Museum has over 126 million specimens of plants, animals, ancient fossils, and illustrious gems for you to behold. Shiny? Are what shiny? The gems. We're going to see gems, right? Oh, yeah. But that's for later. For now, let's check out our first exhibit. Ladies and gentlemen, at center stage, on display in the Museum's Rotunda since 1959. Standing at the Tons, he's the rubber in the jungle. That ecosystem engineer is real to his But to his adoring fans, he's Henry! Majestic! You know it! What's an ecosystem engineer? Is that like a train engineer? Well, Chacha, I, I think it's something that has to mm, like do... Like a civil engineer, or a computer, or maybe an automotive engineer. Electrical, nuclear? So, students, here's the skinny on Henry the Elephant. In the dry season, elephants use their tusks to dig for water for themselves and to help other animals. Oh, that's wonderful. By clearing out scrub brush, they also protect the land for grazing. Very helpful. And as they roam, little seeds stick to their hides and they spread them across the land so more plants grow. Oh my goodness, they're like little farmers. Indeed. And their poopy manure helps feed all the grass and plants. <laughs> Gem soon. Oh, Cha-Cha, slow down. We'll get there eventually. You have to be patient. Zee, 